I just win here? This puts six. This goes to... I could just go for the win. All right. All right, hello and welcome to another Mr. Pisto Plays Magic the Gathering Arena Brawl deck tech and gameplay session. We are in deck number 19 of playing all the legendary creatures and planeswalkers in historic brawl. This is more of a like a randomization challenge. I think it's unrealistic to be able to play all of them. Um, but maybe one day if I have more time to be a fuller timer content creator, -er, uh, that could happen. But we are playing when a call to the hunt. I had a poll and uh, the majority of the poll uh, called for 1-1 one, one counter synergies. So that's what we're going to do. Renata might not be the best 1-1 one, one counter synergy um, feature, but it does generate 1-1 one, one counters and make your things bigger. I think personally Vorinclex as, and or uh, this Vivian Reed that we've played in uh, already uh, are two of the better 1-1 one, one counter themes. But uh, Renata is, uh, is one, so it's a... X, a four mana star three where its power is equal to your devotion to green. Each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional one one counter on it. If you want to skip past me kind of talking a little bit about the cards, um, there's uh, timestamps in the description below. Also, if you like my content, please consider liking, subscribing, and uh, notifying yourself. I have a Patreon uh, where you can see other kind of deck tech stuff. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about an elf ball deck in... Um, that re revolves around Renata. So um, if you want that kind of content, think about subscribing to my um, uh, Patreon. And also uh, I stream every once in a blue moon right now. It's uh, a new thing still. So uh, that'll have to start happening more as I have a better schedule. But anyways, we have some 1-1 one -one counter synergy stuff. Pelt Collector, skin, Snakeskin Veil, Tenacious Pup, uh, Lucior Gia's Gift. Incubation Druid, Pollen Bright Druid, Quarian Beast Caller, Ranger Class, Scavenging Ooze, Smell Fear, Bark Hide Troll, uh, Simeon Simulacrum, Born Reef Ooze, Boreal Outrider, Evolution Sage, Fight Rigging, Invigorating Surge, Rishkard, Pima uh, Renegade, Tireless Tracker, Champion of Lamholt, Yorval, Lord of Garenbrig, Defiler of Vigor, Avabrak Caretaker, Vorinclex Monsters Rider, and I probably should have put this Vivian Arc Bow Ranger in this pile here. Uh, those are kind of cards that all do the one plus one synergies, along with uh, the Great Henge here. And then we just have a whole bunch of really solid uh, green ramp spells, ramp creatures, removal spells, um, and some bigger top end things. So if you want a more in-depth description of this, check out my Patreon. Like I said before, um, I'm going to post a deck tech uh, a day or two after this goes up, going more in-depth on why I've made some of the choices that I made. All right, let's get into a few games. Like, subscribe, notify. Let's do this. This is... Uh, we'll give it a shot. The scavenging goos, we're up against Sahili, Sublime Artificer. So this is the one that uh, makes 1-1 one, one servo artifact creature tokens every time you cast a non-creature spell. Like Alright, we're going to start with this one. <clears throat> we're not starting with this. We would get counters, but this... Is unblockable by the creatures that this thing makes. Which is good for us. Sure. So we'll play our land. Saxahili. Play our Renata. This they had for this. 
Nothing. All right, let's jam with the team. All right, they gotta they're gonna counter something. Um, I think we let them counter the defiler. No, we'll keep up Snake Skin Veil and let's counter your vote. Or blow up Renata. Sure. Take action. Sure, draw your card. If they have the five mana board wipe. Oh, they have the other Sahili. Don't worry. I'll have this fight over in a flash. Think swift like a Felidar. Scry one on top. That's scary. All right. I should. What should I do? They scried one on top and drew it. They have three mana. Have this. Wait, this. Commit these two. No. Okay, so they. I just win here. This puts six. This goes to. I could just go for the win. All right. And we went there and we got there. All right. On the game. Numero dos. We'll see how long that one goes for. Get to go first. Yes, we will keep this hand. We have some good cards up at the top here. Ramp spell. We'll play our land. We'll pass the turn. So an Imperious Bloodlord. So this should be mono black vampires. Yeah, it is mono black vampires. So whenever a creature and opponent dies, put a one one counter here. Honestly, um, I think Nylea is a best play here. Is the next turn we can questing beast put pressure on this? We'll see what they put into play. We have lizard brawl here too. So we're going to do this into this and attack for six, five. All right. No exile removal, please. That's good for us. All right. So they're going to kill our Nylia. Take the action. All right, and a questing beast here. I'm going to do this here. And everything is going to go face. unfortunate maybe we shouldn't have attacked here so they can only plus one this
Maybe this should have gone here. They have five mana. They can... Alright, this is good for us. Sure. That's kind of how the deck wins. You just run over people. We got time for one more. Let's get into the last game. All right, this one, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. We will keep this with the mana dork on turn one. So for boots is nice. Uh, we're up against Shauna Purifying Blade. Three mana, three, three. Um, it has lifelink, and at your beginning of your end step, you may pay X. You do draw X cards, and X cannot be greater than the amount of life you gain this turn. So, Bant life gain. Pretty powerful. Probably gonna play the old Goth Crow, or do we just do... I'm gonna do this. And... Back for one. That is good for us, question mark. Oh, uh, we're going to do this into do this. The next turn, we can go champion into this. Sure, that's fine. They have a slow start. They probably have a counter spell here. Champion? Into this? Let's. Um, I'm going to put a 1 1 counter here. And then we'll attack for 7. All right, weird. Some interesting cards here, especially this one. All right, deck go boom. That's one way this deck loses a lot because it's so creature centric. That is not deck go boom. All right, so we're going to go land into 3-3. Three, three. I'd much rather them counter that. Into 4-4 four, four, or 5-5. Five, five. Into Chunkity. Leave that back. So this is a lot of damage. 19. Do they have path or do they have some way to destroy something? Maybe I should have played the boots and put it on the champion. That might have been a better line. I don't know what that accomplished. Where are their sleeves? Huh. Sure. The right one yeah, to do that too, but I think they're just dead now anyways. They are dead. Not gonna let them gain any more life. They go block, block. Go to five, take five. Mm. 
Unless they have pump this. Oh. They still did. And that are the games. Let's go talk about the deck and uh, we'll do the randomizer. All right. Renata. Call to the Hunt is a 1-1 one, one counter themed uh, deck. Is it the best 1-1 one, one counter themed commander that you can have? Probably not. But is it one that you can play? It definitely is. Um, I found it kind of awkward to build because at 4 mana, like there are so many really powerful things you could be doing. Goreclaw, Nylea, uh, even Toski could be your commander. Garrick could be your commander. Questing Beast could be your commander. Vivian Arcbow Ranger could be your commander. But four mana, and that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to green. Um, even like there's lower end three, two mana things that you could do the one one counter synergies with. The Overlord of Garenbrig, for example, or um, Saren Fen, the Hange Hammer. Like there are lots of different ways that you can build a uh, one one counters um the deck plays well as an elf ball deck too oh patreon if you want to see um a deck tech regarding um an elf ball version of renata call to the hunt um, i'm also going to go a little bit more in depth with another deck tech of renata call to the hunt with this deck specifically talking about some of the cards and um why i pick them so um yeah i twitch Sometimes gonna have a schedule in the next month or so. I'm kind of just playing with it right now to try and figure out how it all works. Um, Patreon, like I said, like, subscribe, notify. Um, wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. From Mr. Pisto to you, stay safe. Thank you, Jimmy Colorado, for all the support that you've given me since you uh, um, started supporting the channel and have just been a great member. Um, Thanks to all the people who have joined my uh, Discord server. It is free. It is open. We talk about the decks. Specifically, we talk about the uh, historic brawl challenges, how to build the decks, and whatnot. We post the links there. We post the videos there. So uh, take care. Stay safe. Bye for now. But do that randomizer. It's not quite over yet. All right. 766 now in the spinner. We got the new cards from Phyrexia. All is one in here. Um, my school is starting pretty soon, so I don't think we're going to get another one in here before uh, the set comes out. So let's spin the wheel and see what we get. Three, two, one, go. We get Rith Liberated Primeval. 5 mana 5 5 flying ward 2 other dragons you control have ward 2 at the beginning of your end step if a creature or planeswalker an opponent control was dealt excess damage this turn create a 4 4 red dragon creature token with flying that's a cool one um we'll see you back here with some maybe dragon tribal maybe uh some control who knows uh, you want to put your voice Join the Discord channel um, or join Patreon to support the channel. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. From Mr. Pisto to you, stay safe. Bye for now.